Handling fake requests on Facebook. I'm Huey Poplock. Do you get repeat friend requests on Facebook? Well, we're going to talk about that today. Do you get something like this on your Facebook page where you get a friend request for a friend that's already a friend? Well, if you've already confirmed someone as your Facebook friend, but then get another friend request from them, don't be alarmed. This is actually a common occurrence on all Facebook. Uh, I'll explain why it happens and what you should do. Here are some reasons for the duplicate requests. There are a few, and you may get repeat friend requests from existing friends. Uh, they created a new Facebook account and want to connect again. They don't recognize you by name and resend requests just in case. It's a glitch in Facebook's system, but most likely their account was hacked, actually cloned, not hacked. If you get a repeat friend request from someone already on your friend list, follow these steps. Check if they've created a new profile. Does the request come from a slightly different name? If so, you can confirm again to connect both accounts. If it looks like the same account, ignore the request. You are already friends, so you don't need to confirm again. If you're concerned, you can message the person and politely ask why they resent the request. This gives them a chance to explain or let you know that it's a fake request. Reasons to be suspicious of requests? While many repeat friends' requests are innocent mistakes, be very cautious about suspicious situations. The new request comes from what appears to be a fake or clone account. The account requesting has posts or information you know is inaccurate about your friend. Or you get repeat requests despite already asking the person about it. If you're quite sure it's a fake account, uh, when in doubt, just decline. If a repeat friend request seems questionable or makes you uncomfortable for any reason, feel free to decline the request. You can also block the account sending it, or you can delete the request works as well. But if you want to report a fake account, uh, unfortunately, fake accounts and friend requests do happen on Facebook, quite often as a matter of fact. If you conclude a repeat friend request is from an imposter, in the upper right of the request, click the three dots icon and then select Report This Request. Choose Pretending to be Someone I Know and enter the name they are impersonating. Click Submit to send the report to Facebook. And I'm going to give you some screenshots here in just a bit to show you what I'm talking about. Why should you report fake accounts? Reporting is important because it alerts Facebook to take action removing fake accounts or banning them. This helps keep everyone safer. Let your real friends know if you discover accounts pretending to be them as well. They'll want to also report the impersonation. If you get a request from a friend and you know they're already a friend of yours on Facebook, here's what you should do. Go to the line that you see the three dots. Don't click on delete request or respond or confirm the request. What you want to do is click those three little dots. And when you do, you'll get a drop down. It'll say search, find support or report or block. You want to report it. So when you click on that part of it, it will say pretending to be someone. Someone is in immediate danger to get help before reporting to Facebook. Uh, don't wait. But in most cases, it's just pretending to be someone. When you click that, you'll get another drop down, which will ask, who are they pretending to be? And you're going to say a friend. Unless it's your own account, then you'll say me. Then it will ask which friend, and you will start to type their name. When it gets to where they... Uh, where there are some matches to names in your Facebook friends, it'll show up. Make sure you click on the one that is in question. 
When you do, it will put it in which friend, and then you click send. When you do that, you'll get this. It'll say report. Does this go against our community standards? Our standards explain what we do and don't allow on Facebook. We review and update our standards regularly with the help of experts. You'll want to click on Submit. At that point, you'll get a notice saying, Thank you, we've received your report of someone pretending to be someone as a friend. And it will say, uh, it's awaiting a review. We use technology and review teams to review anything that doesn't follow our standards as quickly as possible. You click Next. Then it'll say more options. I do not block. I do not hide because I want to see if it disappears by itself. And there's a check mark next to Submit it to Facebook for a review. And I hit Done. Usually within a few minutes, but sometimes it's a little bit longer, I'll get an email from Facebook and it will look like this. Thanks for letting us know about someone impersonating your friend on Facebook. Reports like yours are an important part of keeping Facebook a safe and welcoming community. Since this is happening to your friend, we're going to close your report and follow up with your friend directly once we've reviewed the account. Thanks again, the Facebook team. So it's out of your hands and you're done with it. So in conclusion, by working together, we can try to minimize fake friend requests, but never hesitate to report when you come across them. Facebook relies on user reports. Handling fake friend requests on Facebook. I'm Huey Poplock.